You haven't been riding too much lately until uh, Monster hit me up to uh, do a demo out of Sturgis Bike Week, which is pretty bitching. I used to do demos out there for Harley Davidson every year, so I'm looking forward to getting out there and uh, riding for Monster. They got like one of the best lots in Sturgis where everyone goes in and out of, so I think uh, myself, James Carter, and Hanson are doing a demo out there on uh, Monday, Tuesday. I have practice in my race truck out there on Monday, race Tuesday, race Wednesday. Then I got to fly to Canada for Canada Monster, do a demo out there, and then fly home and do a demo out here. So I got a pretty packed schedule coming up on my dirt bike and my race truck. So I'm just looking forward to this next month and just having fun and uh, riding my bike and racing trucks. Truck's going good, man. We've been putting a lot of work in on it yesterday. I actually went and did a little shakedown yesterday out at Feist House on his little circle track. And then I'll be out at Glen Helen tomorrow testing and just getting the truck ready for uh, our race. I think our race is in like two weeks. So I'm just pumped to be back in a race truck, man. Like I raced for like three years and had so much fun and then took the last two years off. And now I've been thinking about, my like, guy. Right, it's time to get back on a race truck and like take it serious and go out and win some races. Yeah, it's a huge learning curve for me for racing trucks. It's something I haven't done, you know, and to get out there and be fresh, it's you learn something every day in your truck. And I, like I said, I've took the last two years off and I'm just looking forward to getting back in and, and learning the new truck and winning some races, man. It sucks not being on the boat here. Yeah, Monster's rad, man. I've always wanted to ride for Monster and uh, to get the relationship over there with them. Like those dudes back me and everything I want to do. And it's just fun to have that support from a sponsor, whether I want to ride dirt bikes or race a truck, they're there for me to help me out. And I think it's cool like that. Like I said, like I don't like switching sponsors often. So <clears throat> all the sponsors I have, I'm pretty much lifers there. So I'm enjoying it. I'm really pumped at the, the, on the success of the movie that's, that came out, Dirt Bike Kids Chasing the Storm, and it's been killing it, man. Like, I've been looking at the charts on iTunes, and like, for the first three days, we were number one, then we dropped down to eight, now we're back to five, and just all the comments I've been getting on Instagram and Twitter, people are, like, pumped, like, this is just, like, watching Motor Triple X and Krusty One, and the, the whole vibe around the movie, what we were going for is, I wanted to take it back to, like, just... Like I said, I've always been a free rider and I love free riding films, but I think this one showcases it the most. Like the last movie I did, 420%, was more of like showing people what we want to do and like the story behind it. And I went back to like, okay, what, what did I like watching when I was a kid? Like I loved watching Krusty. I loved watching Motor Triple X because it was just all the baddest dudes riding and funny, funny parts. There's no interviews. And, and nowadays, like, you know, I get it. Some movies, you got to have interviews to explain what's going on and stuff like that. But I wanted to just showcase riding, punk rock music and and funny lifestyle stuff like a lot of the a lot of videos now i don't think you get to see the lifestyle you don't get to see the personality of the writer it's more of like you know let's have a sob story interview or let's talk about this or you know when you broke your legs doing that it's like no let's let's show what dirt bikes is and why you ride dirt bikes it's fun you know what i mean and and to me music makes a video part by far and i was like I told everyone I was going to do the video. I want to use old school music. I want to use punk rock music that everyone remembers from back in the day from all my favorite videos. Everyone's like, oh, you can't do that. You have to use new stuff. I'm like, check it out. This is my movie, and I'm going to do it the style that I want. And I want it to be like Krusty and Motor Triple X and Terra Firma's like back in the day when it was fun. And every comment I've got is like, dude, I feel like I'm watching Krusty all over, just a modernized version of it, or Motor Triple X. And I'm like, I'm pumped because my brother-in-law, you know, he's my filmer. He's the one who made this movie. And... For him to step out of his comfort zone, like all he's ever made for me was like Instagram videos and just little YouTube videos here and there. And for him to make a full film, like he was so nervous. But at the same time, we told him like, dude, like this, this is good stuff. And and when you're out filming with some of the gnarliest dudes, it's it's hard not to get good footage and get good shots, you know. So from where he's come from to where he is now, I'm like so proud of him and so pumped. And he's just like, he can't believe it. He's like looking at the charts every day. We're still number one, like so excited. I'm like, dude, that's cool. I'm like, you did a good video. Like, be proud of yourself, you know? So I'm just pumped on the success of the movie and hopefully we can make some more. It was really easy to get the music right. So all my buddies are pretty much the drummer of every band I talk to. So for me, when I hit up Pennywise, I just hit up Byron, I hit up um, Jordan, I hit up Eric. I hit up all the dudes that I knew who had good music and they're like, dude, yeah, no problem, you know, like, use it, do whatever you want. And a couple of the bands like Implants were like, well, let us see, um, let us see the video part. And like, we send them the video part, dude, do whatever you want with it, you know. So for me to have the backing from all my favorite bands was pretty bitchin'. Like, I, I, I couldn't have asked for much more help from those dudes because, like I said, the main thing in videos is music. And I look at it like you have to have good music to make a good video and for me to get all the all the bands to come on board, I was pretty pumped. We got to use Melancholy, Implants, Pennywise, Strung Out. Like there's so many bands that we were just pumped to use and for us to get the okay from them was like, all right, cool. Like we're doing something good. End of the year for me, I'm just waiting for some rain, man, so I can get out filming. <laughs> like I did with the last movie, the last two, two winners, I just 
took money from my own pocket and was like, all right, let's 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 go road tripping. And we have so many ideas of where we want to go this year. And last, the last year's wasn't really just planned out. We just pretty much, that's why we named the movie Chasing the Storm because anywhere it rained, we just went. So we were pretty much chasing the storm wherever it went. So we we're like, dude, it's a no brainer to call the movie this. So right now we got some ideas. We want to go to Canada. I want to go to Colorado. I want to go back to Utah. There's just, uh, obviously we're going to go to Beaumont and Richie. It's our backyard, but the next video will have all new jumps so we won't, we won't have any of the same jumps that we had this year in chasing the storm so we're just looking to go out road tripping and just explore and make new jumps